Hi, I'm Colin Colgan, and you're welcome to the Business and Enterprise Show, Ireland's only live web-based business TV program with over 2 million views across the globe. A couple of weeks ago, the government was castigated for using the expression, keep the recovery going. Well, there's no doubt about it, the recovery still is ongoing, for the very simple reason that you can see lots of the fruits of the uh, recovery around. You can see extra cars, you see new businesses opening, and you see other businesses expanding. That's why we're here today in the Monaghan Electrical newly opening branch here in Cavan Town. And I'm joined by the owner of Monaghan Electric, Mickey Trainer. Mickey, congratulations on the new venture for starters. Well, thanks for that. Based in Monaghan, obviously with a name like Monaghan Electric, two branches in Monaghan, one in Monaghan Town, one in Carrick Macross. What made you venture across the border to Cavan Town? Because the Cavan customers have been always very good to us over the years. We've done a lot of business in Cavan. From we opened 25 years ago, we good customers in Cavan. And I thought it was appropriate to come to Cavan and give them a better service. They're entitled to a better service than a bond delivery service, which I had been doing for 20 years. Um, daily delivery is OK, but I felt we could give a better service be based here in Cavan Town and support our customers in the locality. Hmm. Uh, you're based here in uh, just on the Dublin Road, just uh, g good road frontage as well, and uh, plenty, plenty of spots for advertising as people are going by. Nobody could miss you. Um, do you expect the local tradesmen to be calling in here, or will they, will they still be in the habit of just calling you and maybe collecting you? Both. Um, we still offer the service we always offered, so anybody wants deliveries, that service is still available. But an awful lot of people are already calling with us, we're open there a couple of weeks and it's, it's, it gives them that additional service that if they need something quickly, they say yeah, we have the stocks in Cavan Town, they're at their hand, they don't have to wait on the next day of delivery if they don't need to, they can call here, pick what they need and get on with their day's work. So you're opening in Cavan uh, this month, uh, how long are you opening in Monaghan? We're in Monaghan about 25 years now and like that while we do good business in Monaghan, we have traditionally done good business in Cavan, and in fact it was time now to come and give Cavan people the service they deserve. Mm. Uh, Cavan Monaghan, by its very nature, on the border, um, did that cause you any problems, when you went, particularly when you were opened up initially? It's, it's a double-edged sword, the border. Sometimes it's a problem because of exchange rates and such things. Sometimes exchange rates move and it's a bit of an advantage, so it's, it, it's, it's not something... But penalises is too bad. We learn to cope with it early that's on, and we still good. cope with it. <laughs> good range of products. What are some of the products that you do carry? Oh, we're standing here beside Milwaukee. Now, the first thing I have to say about Milwaukee is it looks like a tool range. So, it's, although it's Monaghan Electric, it's not just electric accessories that you do. No, we do the full gamut of materials that the tradesman will want. We, our service is primarily to trade and to industry. So we have the full range of goods that, that, that's needed to do an electrical installation. Mm. Right from the tools that you need to do the work, to the cable, the switch gear, the lamps, everything that's needed for an electrical installation we supply. Mm. We do indeed the workwear that the tradesman will need while working on, on a project. So we do the full range that's needed to do an electrical installation. And it's all available here in our Calvin branch. Yeah. The, the tradesmen that are coming to you, uh, I'm sure, uh, needless to say, at all trade councils, it's also a chat, you know. The jobs that they're doing, are they doing jobs locally? Or is it, as the papers are saying, it, it's all happening in the major cities and they're buying their supplies here and they're heading off to do these jobs? Or is the, are, are the jobs taking place here in the, in the vicinity? Uh, there is quite a bit of business here in the vicinity. There is no doubt the major cities are probably doing better than the, the, than the outlying areas. But there is quite a bit of business in Cavan and there's quite a bit of work happening in Cavan and there's some good projects ongoing in Cavan. Mm. There's also quite a lot of good industry in Cavan and all that needs supplies of electrical and they need tradesmen to do the work and to keep the thing functioning. Mm. And have we still got plenty of tradesmen floating around because all the good ones seem to have emigrated and despite everyone's promises of what a great country we are, uh, nobody's in too much of a hurry to come back home from the sunny climates of Australia and Canada and places like that. There's no doubt that we lost a lot of young tradesmen uh, to foreign fields, mm. Australia, America, etc. But um, 
Most of the settled here, from the more mature people had very little choice only stay and walk through the Fellas like you and me that other countries didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possible. I'm not saying they didn't want water elsewhere, but they had businesses that had established themselves in this country. They probably yeah. had families and roots here that it wasn't easy leaving. Yeah. And uh, those people fought through the recession and they're still in business. And thankfully their businesses are improving. We can see it in terms of the amount of materials they're buying. And mm. you know it when you speak to them as, as, yeah. as you meet them at the counter on a daily basis. Thing has picked up somewhat. It's not as rosy as some would like you to believe. But well, now that the election is over, nobody says it's it's rosy anymore. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Hmm. Well, we are not concentrating on getting elected. <laughs> We're concentrating on supplying our customers. <laughs> now, one of the things that you've concentrated is this is your third store, and uh, as they call bricks and mortar businesses, but you also have a nice business on the internet. Yes, we're quite active on the internet and it's it's a good facility for even for our existing customers but also for new customers to find us there. And yeah, this is the way the modern world is working and we're active in that area. Electricalwholesaler.ie is our website. And, uh, a nice generic term, I have to say, electricalwholesalers.ie. Yeah, well, it's... it's you, must, you must come up fairly near the top when people are uh, uh, a ghoulian for electrical supplies. We do, in most instances, mm. come near the top. It's something we work hard at. It's not something that happens by accident. Yeah. It's like anything else we do, we work hard at it. Mm. We try and do it well, we try and do it yeah. well. And uh, it, it is working for us, and if somebody wants to learn about the products or see what's available or whatever, they can Google us. We can be followed yeah. up with phone calls or whatever else. But now, what's yes, the logistics of buying online? It's quite I'm, ju I'm, I'm just thinking, because a lot of electrical products are heavy. Are you, somebody asked you for a couple of rolls of cable. Mm. You know, almost the, the, the carriage charge. Some Which things is, is, is the carriage is prohibited, perhaps, mm. which is very heavy goods. But we, they still sell, like, stuff has to be shipped around the world and around the country, and it is shipped. There's good services now from couriers of all descriptions. So, yeah. look, we can ship to anywhere in the world if somebody wants to buy it, we'll sell it to them and we'll ship it to them, it's not a problem. And have you shipped outside Ireland already? Oh, ah, yes, of course. I've shipped to various countries all over the world, yeah. Mm. And uh, the website electricalwholesaler.ie that covers uh, not only what you sell on the line, but it covers the products that you have in store here in Cavan and in your other two stores in Monaghan. Now, uh, some of the products that you have, we might take a look at some of them. And I said the obvious one to look at is the one we're standing behind. We, we chatted about it earlier, uh, Milwaukee, uh, an American tool company. American tool company, they're very active in Europe. They have a vast range of tools, good, very high quality tools. Yeah. We like to stop quality products rather than the bargain basement stuff is quality stuff we focus mm. on and that's a quality product and we sell quite a lot of it. Again it's very popular with the tradesmen that are using tools all day every day. Yeah. They know the value of it from Absolutely, because if somebody is doing a bit of a job around the house and they'll be happy enough to buy a, a drill from Argos and a set of bits from Mr. <coughs> Price, you know, because they break after about 10 minutes, but the job is done. But if you're a tradesman, you need reliable equipment, you'll need the likes of Milwaukee, that when you turn up on the job three weeks later, you still have the equipment that you need. Yeah, and they will do a phenomenal amount of work yeah. for you. So I look quite it's quite expensive, but they're not bargain based materials. Yeah, they're, 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 they're damn good materials. quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll walk and we'll keep walking. We'll so what is the range? We have, we have dr there's drills, uh, but they do power equipment as well, don't they? Power tools. They do all the full gamut of power tools. Mostly yeah. nowadays it's all cordless. They still do mains, tools, various sorts. Yeah. But the the most popular is the cordless because it's the handiest, the easiest, the quality yeah, there yeah. with the batteries that they have. But they're as good a machine as a mains tool and they're a lot handier for the day if they want to use. So the cordless tools, the battery power tools are taken over in a big, big way. Okay, so that's Milwaukee. Maybe we'll have an, a look at some of the other products that you have. Because there was a time that if you wanted a bulb, you either got a GLF bulb in 25, 40, 60 or 100 watt, and that was the end of it. Now there's an absolutely huge range of bulbs. Every, because everything now is energy saving, you can no longer get the old fashioned GLF bulbs. But uh, there's such a huge range now. There's, there's different heads, there's different light fittings, there's new light fittings coming out nearly every year. But I can see you have a huge range of bulbs. We have a massive range of bulbs, and yeah, correct, if I the range of bulbs is phenomenally big and increasing, as you say, regularly. LED is the new energy efficient bulb, something like this lamp here, mm. which long life, very energy efficient, great light output for the energy that's used, and really that's the future of, of, of lighting. 
in a number of years, the incandescence and the various bulbs that went before will disappear. Yeah. They have in large measure disappeared, but still available if required for special projects. Mm. And we have them in stock as well. Uh, cause it, we it, have it, a full range, right through fluorescent, incandescent fluorescent, going ahead to LED, the CFLs and all the rest we have mm. in stock. But the, yeah, the future is LED. Mm. It's not a case of going out to the corner shop and getting a 50 pence bulb anymore. It's moving away from that. It yeah. is certainly moving towards the LED, but the price of the LED lamps are coming down now yeah. as well, as they're becoming more used and more popular. And they will save the consumer energy over the period that they're installed. So while they have to pay a little more initially, mm. it's an energy saving thing. They're doing a little bit for the environment, and it'll save the money. In, 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 the, the, in the long run, your LEDs are kind of much, 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 much better because they do say, OK, you can get a GLS for 50, 50 pence or a pound, mm. Mm. Uh, an LED might cost you two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, <clears throat> but you get back that back in a couple of, particularly if teenagers who don't think twice about leaving lights on all night. <laughs> <laughs> we're all human, we're all humans, we're all prone to do So basically you have an entire wall of bulbs, um, it's, it, it's, it, and they're not the same bulb, each hook has a different bulb, but we must, you must have a range here of about 50, 60 different types of bulbs, and I doubt if this is even your entire bulb stock. Uh, look at this, hundreds of different types of bulbs, and we have the vast majority. But there is on occasion some special bulbs which you may not have in stock, mm. but we will get them for you. So if you have a bulb for a special requirement, don't be afraid to come to us. We do the work. Absolutely. Uh, and of course, batteries, this down. Yeah, we have a, the battery. The Panasonic. Batteries. Okay, electrical accessories. And I suppose there's, there's two object, objects here. One is the tradesman coming in, I want a, a box of plugs that are rewired in the house. And secondly, it's the DIY guy, the, the, the plug at the back of the television is broken and uh, he's replacing it. Yeah, well electrical accessories will always be needed and electrical accessories are very much part of our business. Mm. And we have the full range of them. And we have them in the basic white things, we also have the various more ornamental ranges, yeah. brushed chrome, brass, all the various... And have you stores. found that the likes of your brushed chrome, the likes of your different mm. colour plastic, are becoming more popular for the simple reason people are watching, like, there's, there's complete channels on television dedicated to house improvements and, mm. and, and kind of architectural stuff, and people are saying, oh, look at that, oh, that's a different switch, I must go looking for that. Are people seeing stuff and coming in just, look, I want something really unusual? Yes, there's no question or doubt about that. And we have a, a good range, and um, people do, yeah, there's, there's a market for it, and people are coming for it, and we are here to supply yeah. the customer, and if the customer and wants it, we'll supply it. And the same go with the bulbs, if somebody wants <coughs> a particular fitting that you haven't got, you can still get it. Absolutely, absolutely, mm. there's, there's no way you can stock absolutely everything. Now we have 8,000 items in stock at any given time. Yeah. Um, but if there's anything outside that, we'll do the homework for the customer and get them what they need. Right, we, 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 ladders, needless to say. Now, another big growth area is now the, the workwear, the safety equipment <coughs> and the workwear. There was a time builders turned up for work with a pair of jeans that didn't fit them. And we, we, as the fellow said, we all we all saw builders' arts when we, when we were looking at it. Now, whether it's, it's, it's kind of people looking for a more professional re image, when they are going to work, but people are starting to, particularly tradesmen, they're looking for, I won't say designer workwear, but durable workwear. I see you have the Snickers range here. The Snickers range is a, is a well known, good brand of workwear. Health and safety is a big, big issue. So, good workwear is very much part of the health and safety thing. And Snickers is a very well recognised brand and it mm. is a good product, it's, it's, it's not a well recognised brand for nothing, the quality is there, it's very popular for players, when we're selling it for a long number of years, but people like it, people are very happy with it. Mm. We also do the cap, the footwear, yeah. steel toe caps, all the rest of the safety footwear, again it's a very big issue on sites and we have the range for people want. Mm. Um, there was a time stuff like that used to be somebody's choice. Now safety footwear is a must on the site. And uh, rightly so, you know, health and safety of the tradesman is very, very important. Mm. Now I suppose when it comes to electrical wholesaling, the thing that jumps out on you is cable. 
I suppose the average man of the street would look upon on your one and a half twin in earth, two and a half twin in earth, and maybe three core as all the cable that there is. But as you can see behind us, there are reels and reels of different types of cables for every possible function. Just here, you must have about 50 reels. What do some of them do? Industry needs a vast range of cables. Cable dimensions mostly are domestic cables. Mm. But when you went to industry and look at our big, big customers, industry in general, uh, and we have the full range of cables required there, from the big flexible cables right through the heavy armour cables to the heavy power cables, indeed medium voltage cables within our range, fire alarm cables, all the specialist cables are available to us. The communications cable is now a very big issue and we have the vast range of that as well. Mm. Cat 5, enhanced Cat 6, all that type of thing, even Cat 7 is now coming as a, as a, as a wow. cable for the communication industry. All of that is within our range. So yeah, we're here to cater for industry and the trade and we have the materials to cater for them. Hmm. Now as you can see by some of these cables, they come in huge drums. Uh, people may not want the, the, the full drum, so you, you have come kind of a nice couple of rollers here that uh, if somebody wants a specific length, you can cut it for them. Oh absolutely, yes. In general people don't need to buy a thousand metres of every cable they need, so we will cut you what you need. Yeah. Be that 20 metres, be it 200 metres, we, we, we will supply what the customer wants. Mm. Customer uh, focus is, yeah. is our focus. A, a cable went a, a, a couple of years ago. Uh, went went through colour changes. It was red, black, and and, and multicoloured for earth. Then we went to green and blue. Is there still those colours, or uh, is there a t t t tendencies to change it yet again? No, I think it's probably fixed for the future. Yeah. What we had at that time was different colours in different countries, but eventually harmonised for Europe. Mm. And I would say that that'll stick now for a very very long. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, still if some of those old cables are in service and they have to be reused, you need to sleeve the cables. And again, the sleeving is something we stop. So yeah. it's, 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 there's always an answer. Mm. So as there's a huge range of cable, huge range of um, yeah, different types. And again, the, the, the Monaghan electrical rule applies. If we haven't got it in stock for you, we will get it. Absolutely. Right. It's we'll part of the service we provide. Well, I suppose if opening a branch in Cavan is the future for Monaghan Electric, the future for uh, self-generating uh, electricity is solar power. And one of the new features here in Monaghan Electric's new store in Cavan is the UK Sol, uh, Solar Voltic. What exactly is that, Mickey? That's where electricity is generated directly from sunlight. The sun shines on the solar panel and it turns directly into electricity. And it's, uh, we see it as, as very much the future for electricity generation. Now John here would be the expert in, within Monaghan Electrical on the solar side. Maybe let John explain it. Yeah, so John Murphy, the, the solar electric expert. Yes, so what I can think. Solar electric. Um, I wouldn't have thought Ireland was good, had good enough sun for that. Well, it has potential to be very good, yes. It works within, without direct sunlight also, so you will get a generation of your panel. Mm. John, the SolarVic panel, how does it work? It works by connecting, it direct light shines on the panel and converts to ca DC cable. You run your DC cables to a thing called an inverter which in turn turns it to AC current, which in turn you can power your house. And it comes out of 240? Out of 240, yes. Um, strong enough to run what? Everything? Uh, depending on size, yes. You can minimise bills, you can take a great lump off your electricity bills uh, with uh, row of panels on your roof of your house. Now, you, uh, we say to do everything in a house during the day, mm -hmm. on a sunny day, how many panels would you need? In your, your average three well, bedroom semi-detached. Well, the standard, the standard setup would be say up to five panels which would give you a great lump of your generation. So you have five panels, uh, they're, they're all wired in together, yes. the, the wiring then goes into an inverter yes. and just connects to the, the supplier. Up to your up to your meter and it will um, minimise your electricity usage. Mm. Um, Ireland is not known for great sunny weather. No, you know, what we say about Ireland is it's a great country to go on holidays <laughs> except for the weather, you know. Well it works in direct sunlight and indirect sunlight so you will get a uh, um, enough usage of it in, in direct sunlight also. Mm. So are you talking like that something like this would work in the winter? Correct, yes. You will get, uh, uh, there is a, definitely you will get something out of it, yes. Mm.
Now, is this something that you would need special training to fit, or could your average electrician have it wired up? Uh, there is day courses can be done, and I would recommend it do be done to get yourself up to speed, but it is pretty straightforward once you get there to know it, yes. Mm. Now, it used to be just the ESB, but we now have a clatter of electrical supply mm. companies. What's their opinion of it? Are they, they happy? They recommend it as well, yeah. Do, yes, it's the way forward, it's just things coming in, it's, it's catching on in Ireland quite at the moment. Yeah. Now, it doesn't completely and utterly replace your need for electricity supply? Not necessarily, but there are solar farms primarily used for this. That would be in, yes. like the industrial, where like the likes of the ESB or whoever yeah. would generate ESB like this. Correct. And it obviously doesn't work at night. No, no. But there is a battery pack That's you can really use, yes, that can store your electricity and use it as you please mm. at night. So if you had sufficient panels, mm -hmm. um, I was going to say both sides of your roof, but it doesn't work that way. You'd have to have no, it pointed. You, you direct, facing south to pick up the south. Pick, the pick up the south. But in theory, if you had sufficient panels, you could almost take yourself off grid correct. if you had the battery pack. That is correct, yes. Hmm. I, I, I suppose the big hoary subject is what, what sort of cost are you talking here? Uh, well, one panel you're talking about 150 euros. Per panel. Oh, that that very reasonable three because three I know yes. um, a couple of years ago the, the country went through a phase where everyone had uh, solar panels for heating water on the roof and they, they cost well, thousands to fit and it saved you six and safety in your hot water bill. Well, this is different. Uh, this is different to the hot water. This is electrical only. Mm. These panels. These panels. Yeah. And it's UK Sol. That, that's UK the manufacturer. Sol, yes. It's British made panel. We're and we can see thirty year. Uh, guarantee, guarantee. Yes. and it's available here in uh, Monaghan Electric yes, in the new store in Cavan. Yes. Well, it's a fantastic concept. Thank you. So that, was, that concludes kind of our complete look around the brand spanking new Monaghan Electric store here on uh, Dublin Road here in Cavan. But on the outside of it now, as you can see, it's a fine looking building, well advertised, you can see it from the main road. Uh, Mickey, you promised people great products and a great service. Absolutely, and we're looking forward to giving that products and service to the customers here in Cavan. Well, I'm Colm Colgan, you're watching a Mullen Electric special here on the Business Enterprise Show. A great new store, great new resource, great staff, great product, great prices. Come on down to Monaghan Electric, Dublin Road, Cavan.